Our most popular video on this channel is our explanation of last year's playoffs at the Disney World bubble. Everyone really enjoyed it. Now we're back to explain the new playoff format for 2021. The league opted for a one-year trial for this new format, which means this might be the only year we ever see it. For the last few decades, the NBA playoff format has simply been the top eight teams in winning percentage from each conference. That is, until last year, when they added in a play-in tournament for the eighth seed. This year, we have another new format, which is similar to last year's, but they added in another two teams to the mix. As we explained in the first video, the bubble format added a play-in for the ninth seed if they were within four games of the eighth seed. The eighth seed would then play the ninth seed for the eighth playoff spot in what was essentially a best of three series with the eighth seed starting off with a 1-0 lead. Meaning the eighth seed would need to win just one game to advance to the playoffs and the ninth seed would need to win two. We were only able to see one of these play-in games last year when the eighth seed Portland Trailblazers knocked off the ninth seed Memphis Grizzlies in the first game. Now, this year is a little different. Instead of a play-in game for just the 8th seed, the NBA threw the 7th seed up for grabs as well. This means the number of teams involved will double from 2 to 4. The 7th through 10th highest winning percentages in each conference will participate in the play-in tournament. The biggest change here is that there is no requirement to be within a certain number of games of the 7th or 8th seed like there was last year, which means we are guaranteed to have play-in games in both conferences. Here's where it gets kind of confusing because it doesn't follow a normal tournament format. The 7th and 8th team will play one game with the winner securing the 7th playoff spot. The NBA worked day and night with a creative team to come up with the name for this one. This is called the 7-8 game. Other names also considered were the 8-7 game, the 7 vs 8 game, and the race to 7 mountain. The 9th and 10th team will play each other in, that's right you guessed it, the 9-10 game. Rumors have been swirling that the NBA even reached out to the Washington football team for name ideas. The winner of this 9-10 game will face the loser of the 7-8 game to determine who will have the final playoff spot. This game will be called the play-in game. Sometimes, uh, what, what would you say you do here? Well, the look. entire format could really create some interesting dynamics. The team with the 7th highest winning percentage, which last year was the Mavericks and Nets, could potentially fall out of the playoffs entirely with two straight losses, while the 10th team, who last year was the Hornets and the Suns, could grab the 8th seed with two wins. After this play-in tournament, the playoffs will continue in their regular format, with a best of 7 series every round. The 1 plays the 8, 2 plays the 7, 3 plays the 6, and the 4 plays the 5 seed. Ultimately, the more teams that are competing for the playoffs, the better the experience is for the fans. With two-thirds of the NBA now participating in the postseason, more teams are playing in games that actually matter, giving more players experience in the postseason. In the NBA, maybe more than any other league, experience matters.